Our next presenter is Mr. Olmigi B. Hagada. He is the current Kiangan Tourism Officer and the Executive, executive Assistant of, mayor, of the Mayor. His presentation is entitled Outstanding Universal Value and Geocultural Relevance of Nagakadan Rice Terraces as GS and UNESCO de Declared Site. Mr. Hagada. Good morning, everyone. Before I start with my uh, brief discussion, I would like first to uh, thank the organizers of this uh, summit. Of course, that's spearheaded by the GS Department of the Ifugao State University. So I am tasked to uh, give a brief discussion regarding the outstanding universal value and geopolitical relevance of the Nagakanan Rice Terraces as a UNESCO and uh, GS declared site. So in 1995, the uh, Nagakanan Rice Terraces was included as among the uh, five clusters of World Heritage Sites here in Ifugao based from three criteria. Number one is antiquity, aesthetic, and ecological balance. That is uh, uh, criteria three, criteria four, and criteria five of UNESCO. Uh, in terms of antiquity, the current condition of the Nagahadan Rice Terraces right now is that it no longer observed the uh, performance of rituals and traditional practices. That is because there is uh, a massive shift of the kind of farming practices that is being uh, uh, that is being done in the Nikahadan rice terraces. First, we have to consider the uh, abandonment of uh, much of the rice fields because of out-migration. Second is the uh, transition to uh, traditional varieties to introduce var varieties by the Department of Agriculture. And then, of course, third is the conversion of much of our rice terraces into vegetable farming. So in terms of antiquity, uh, basing from the uh, standard or the criteria of uh, UNESCO, I think uh, there is really much to be done in here in uh, reviving or encouraging the people to shift back to the kind of practices that has maintained the rice terraces uh, that made it a world heritage site. Uh, we have to consider that uh, the way we tend traditional varieties is very different from that of uh, the lowland varieties that is introduced to the Nagakadan rice terraces. Uh, in every stage of farming, there are rituals and there are, uh, yeah, there are so many rituals and beliefs that are uh, associated in the performance or observance of each stage. However, with the introduction of lowland varieties that requires a short period of time and uh, a different way of tending the rice, it has completely erased the local practices. I think it was only in 2018 that uh, an NGO through its initiative uh, tried to revive the uh, observation of uh, of a rice ritual however in its context it does not in Ifugao context it does not actually cover uh, the very intent why such uh, ritual is being performed so uh, in conclusion the uh, practices the traditional practices in the Nagakadan rice terraces in the olden times compared to now is no longer being observed. The second criteria of UNESCO is that it should maintain its aesthetic value. Uh, the definition of UNESCO when it says aesthetic is that a site should have an outstanding example of a type of building architecture or technological ensemble or landscape which illustrates significant stages in human history. As for the aesthetic of the uh, Ifuga, uh, I mean Nagakadan rice terraces, I will refer you to my first slide. That is exactly how the Nagakadan rice terraces uh, look like at present because of so much abandonment and the conversion of uh, the uh, usefulness of uh, the land. 
people right now have become more uh, practical in terms of their uh, survival, uh, in terms of uh, earning income, which is why uh, I've mentioned a while back that there had been already uh, a transition of the uh, of the uh, use of the land in Nagakadan such that it has completely altered its uh, aesthetic value. Uh, now we go to its ecological balance. Uh, in terms of its ecological balance, uh, the uh, building of development to that area has converted already much of the rice terraces, especially those along the, uh, the road wherein they are, uh, they are built with houses already. And people now have become more practical that they shifted farming into uh, commercial vegetables because that's more practical other than maintaining the rice terraces that requires a lot of labor. Uh, in terms of ecological balance, the high demand of uh, upland vegetables have converted much of our uh, forest covers into vegetable farms. And worst thing more, uh, farmers are uh, have engaged into monocropping that is uh, that is uh, contradictory to what had been practiced traditionally wherein uh, there is always uh, what we call interspersed cropping which means that uh, in one area varieties of vegetables are being planted however right now like what I've mentioned uh, the whole slope of a mountain is being converted into uh, vegetable gardens gardens in which uh, one particular type of crop is being uh, planted and uh, what's worrying is that these types of farming techniques that are that the uh, local farmers employ are pretty much dependent or very much dependent to pesticides and uh, artificial fertilizers so in totality uh, with the discussion that I presented does the Nagakaran rice terraces still fit in to still fit in as a world heritage site much so that there are developments already being introduced because of the demand of people for uh, access to roads for improvement of, or alleviation of living conditions uh, we worry that in a short period of time uh, the rice terraces compared to how it was in 1995 and along the years that has passed might be completely forgotten or completely uh, uh, converted the whole rice terraces in terms of its usability might have been completely been might be completely uh, uh, converted into other purposes now we go to uh, Gia's criteria uh, as for the Gia's criteria I think uh, they have similarity with uh, that of uh, UNESCO, especially in terms of uh, landscape and uh, landscape diversity and aesthetic value. But what Gia is trying to uh, emphasize here is food production in which there should be diversity and uh, sustainable way of farming in which I've mentioned uh, previously that uh, entirely, slowly, uh, the Nagakadan rice terraces might be completely converted into uh, vegetable farms that are highly dependent on uh, pesticides and uh, other artificial uh, artificial uh, fertilizers. So in totality, that's what we see to the Nagakadan rice terraces right now. And uh, I think the purpose of this summit is to is for us to meet together and make discussions what could be done anyhow I think much research have been conducted uh, by a lot of uh, individuals and I think uh, we came up with a similar conclusion in which the rice terraces not only in Nagahadan but in the entire Ikubo is uh, in danger of its uh, being a world heritage site.
Thank you very much, Mr. Olmigi Hagada, our tourism officer from the LG of Kiangan. And before we proceed to the next...